And I should be live. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the UTSA Dynasty live stream tonight. And when was the last time I actually did a UTSA Dynasty live stream, man? It was fun, though, when we did. Remember, it was the Okacha for Heisman thing. And then we started talking. We got Okacha's attention on Twitter. Got him over a 1,000 followers in the span of 24 hours. And now he's retweeting my videos and talking to me on Twitter. So that's cool stuff. But UTSA live stream. What if I type that in? When was the last time I did one? It was, here we go, August 22nd, almost two months ago, I did my last UTSA stream. What's going on, guys? Hopefully, this is all working and the settings are all correct and whatnot, but welcome. Hopefully, some people are already in here. I did make a live stream announcement video to get some people in here early, and so we're going to have a pretty uh, full live stream, as full as we're going to get anyway, um, with YouTube sub boxes and whatnot. So, I'm just linking everybody from Twitter and Facebook, getting all the fans in here, and hopefully you guys can hear me and everything's good to go, but welcome, and I gotta uh, refresh this page so I can see the comments, 46 people in here so far, sup hurricane, not much, just, uh, I had to run to the store quick, and of course, um, I had to wait at a stop sign for like three minutes for cars to go by, and then I had to park a mile away from the, yeah, not a mile away, but... I had to park away from the gas stations just so I could get in it to get some milk. Don't want to make it easy on me at all. But I'm back. I, I was only like two minutes late compared to like last night being like 40 minutes late. Uh, intentionally because I was waiting for uh, Mr. Smalls 99. A.K.A. the White Mamba. And not a fan and I were playing some Modern Warfare. Whoa, Call of Duty Black Ops. Streaming UTSA Dynasty. Click the link. My Facebook's been all buggy lately with trying to post my links. It's almost not even worth it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get off my page, Facebook. You suck. Twitter is the optimal social network. Let me find my active live events. Got the UTSA Dynasty stream, and in this stream, guys, we're going through recruiting. The next episode in this series is going to be a recruiting update for everybody. And then the next episode is going to be an actual game against Tulsa. So we're going to probably have about 90 minutes to 2 hours in this stream of UTSA action. First we're going to do some recruiting. Next we're going to do the game. And hopefully everything goes smoothly. And uh, we're a 1-17 playing against a 4-3 and three team. Hopefully we can get a second win and at least play competitively. I believe we're going to have some recruits at this game here on a visit. So there's that to look forward to. And 143 people watching, 141, here we go. One more link to Twitter. UTSA Dynasty live stream live now. Here we go. Time to get two straight UTSA wins, I agree. So I'm hitting the capture button right now, guys. It's going to go black for a second. And then I'm going to go into the recruiting, because that's what we're going to start it off with. The next episode is going to be a recruiting update. And I wanted to also do this just for my reference. I'm going to show you guys how many seniors we have leaving and who we have redshirted that can be players for next year. So we're going to have to go and check the roster out, because I want to be able to see who I have redshirted as well. What's Johnny Manziel's overall in this game? You know what? Let's check it right here. Texas a and where is he? You know, he's my favorite player, I think, right now. Well, maybe Evan Zokach is my favorite player, but I, I like Johnny Manziel a lot. Johnny Manziel is an 82 overall. Oh, man, highly disagree. He's good. He's been so much fun to watch. Oops, went past UTSA. Wait, where is it? Is it at the very bottom because it's my team? Oh, it's at the very top because it's my team. Alright, alright. Ah. Oh. You have poopy rosters, I do. And you can see, look at the roster, guys. I have two players of an 80 overall or old, or higher, I should say. And, okay, quarterback. Souza is gone after this year. Next year it's going to be John Simmons and Eric Hancock, our redshirt freshman. 
And then we have Ryan Polite, a sophomore. We have David Glasgow, a junior. Evan Zocaccia, a senior. The rookie, the, the freshman Anthony Banks, freshman Danny Moss, and the sophomore Oscar Bridges. Brandon Armstrong and Nate Shaw at fullback, even though I think he's a 163-pound fullback. I don't know why he's there, but he is. Receiver, I'm not sure we're even losing anybody at this position. No, we're not at all, and I'm bringing in some other some other receivers, so there's going to be a lot of competition for next year's spots on the starting roster. Senior tight end, a junior, a freshman. I'm trying to figure out, I want to make sure I attack certain positions to make sure they get covered. Just so I don't have a walk-on playing there. Probably going to need a left guard, but all right, I'm definitely going to need a right guard. Let me write that down. What safeties are you looking at? I'm not sure I'm even looking at any safeties right now. A junior, a junior, a freshman, and a freshman. We're good at right tackle. A junior and a junior, a senior, a freshman, a sophomore. I'm already going for some ends, so I know i got to do that. A junior, a junior, a freshman. If you look at you know, I don't have a lot of seniors on my team. And so that's one of the things. It's a very young roster because what are the chances? UTSA started up their football program three years ago. What were the chances they already had football players attending that school? I mean, they had to get a lot of young talent, and that's why the team is predominantly sophomores and juniors right now in real life. Let's see, a senior there, freshman. Oh, yeah, John Lee was one of my recruits. I'm looking forward to him next year. Oh, man, I, he's not even redshirted. I, didn't, I must have promised him I wouldn't. Kevin Malone, though, is. He's a 67 speed. Oh, that's slow as hell. Kerfez, oh man, thankfully we have uh, a freshman here that hopefully progresses a little bit. Got to get Dominique Carter some playing time too, probably. Let's see, at corner we're going to lose Eric Brown. We're going to have Darian Starling next year, thankfully. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's like a definite need, and so I'm just kind of looking at like the best talent I can get and not really focusing on certain positions. Got a junior kicker and a junior punter. So, we're only going to lose a handful of seniors, and the key one is going to be Eric Souza. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back again. I'm going to be going to get my supper here in a moment, guys. UTS hasn't been bad this year, I know. And they've, they've played against um, some decent teams in that conference, too. And uh, I think one of the most impressive wins was actually against South Alabama. Because I think South Alabama is one of the... It's a lower... I think it's like a division... I don't know. Like one of the lower Division One schools or something like that. And I know they've had some decent talent at that school. But... We're going to go look at our recruit. I'm going to make sure that we have Dominique Carter getting a little bit of playing time, hopefully, just because I'm not sure if it really messes with the progression too much because everybody seemed to progress like the same over the course of my first off season. But where is Mr. 55 overall? Choose player to sub in. Okay. Choose a player to sub out, and then you choose a player to sub in. See how it works. Well, where the hell is... Dominic Carter, where is he? Oh. Okay. And that left outside linebacker, John Lee. Wait, wh he's not 67 speed, he's a 60, he's an 89 speed. I don't know where I saw a 67. I wouldn't dare get someone 67. You can move one of your wide receivers to safety or cornerback. That's a possibility. I mean, I could go look at some ratings sometime. Evening Hurricane, how's it going? Chris the Dog. UTSA bowl eligible in real life. I think you have to be in the FBS for a certain number of years before you can. Because they do have six or seven wins right now. I don't, think, I don't think they can go to a bowl game this year yet. I could be wrong, though, so don't take my word on that. All right, guys, we're going to get into the recruiting in a moment here. But I'm going to be right back. I will get my French toast, get a little bit of supper, and then we're going to do the recruiting. So hang tight, guys. Thank you. Uh, leave a like while I'm gone. When I get back, I want to see 100 likes if we can. we got 41 likes, 211 viewers. So uh, we'll see how many likes we can get by the time I get back. Be right back, guys.
Alrighty, I'm back. I got my French toast now. 117 likes. Oh damn, I almost <laughs> almost took apart my keyboard there. Where is Hurricane? I'm here. I'm getting French toast. Alright. It's good I'm eating during the recruiting, not the playing. But I'm going to show you guys. Well, we only have one recruited so far. Like, one committed. Like, for sure. But you guys saw, like, my receivers. It's going to be a crowded crew next year. And I'm not sure what we're going to really do because we have a lot of them. We might have to move some to corner or safety. But we just had a bunch of guys on a visit here. This guy gave it an A-, minus. he gave it a B, an A-, minus, a B+, plus, a B+, plus, which is really good because this is one of our best uh, guys right here. And uh, one of the things I'm really concerned about in this series is the lack of pass rush we have. But if you remember Jerron Harris, whoa, what the hell just happened? Oh, never mind, that happens whenever I hit the fan. But if you remember Jerron Harris, remember how good he was and how many sacks he had? He was just like an 80 overall or a 79. And I don't have any guys like that in my line right now. So I know Andre Ross is one of the guys I really want to get. And so here we look at the more information on him. And we're probably going to end up getting him. We were 620 ahead of Florida State. And you can see the block shedding, the finesse moves. They're all pretty middle of the road. But there's room for development there, obviously. He's 6'5", 245. So this is a guy I definitely want to get. I spend a lot of time every week talking to him. I'm eating French toast, too. What do you like better, Madden 13 or NCAA football 13? Madden 13, definitely. Yeah, he's on the recruiting advisory bonus thing now, which pretty much guarantees you're going to get a bunch of points every time you talk to him. What have I promised them already? I'm trying to make Louisiana one of my pipelines. And because we play a couple teams from Louisiana, we played two this year. So um, that's one of the things I'd say to my Louisiana recruits is that we're going to play in your home state and hopefully they become one of my uh, pipelines. And we're, we're having a pretty good session here. We're going to get at least 500 probably. Yep, we're going to get 508. Go French Toast. Get a safety. Hmm. Yeah, I'll show you guys the rest of the guys I'm going for. Um, this was one of the quarterbacks actually I was looking at. He's a 69 overall, a plus 9, like he's a gem kind of. And if you take a look at his rating series, his name is Evan Newton. And... 77 throw power, 71 throwing accuracy. I kind of want to get him just to be um, another developmental quarterback. I'm not sure how much I'm going to play this series or how many years I'm going to go. Oh, I wanted to scout for one 10 minutes. Not... Okay. I messed up there. Damn it. Anyways, give me a speed. Okay, he's got 70 acceleration, then give me a speed. But I think he's going to be a guy I want to get... Um, no, I am going for a running back, actually. I was just going to see how good he was. I was just going after guys who I was in first place for. Richie Battle. We're definitely going to probably get him. Only uh, only team to offer him a scholarship so far. And he's going to be a true fullback, actually. He might start as a freshman. He probably will. Got to work on the blocking readings. So we'll give him 30 minutes this week. I'm headed out, man. Family going out to eat. See you later, Chris. Hope to see you later at a scream, uh, stream. I might be streaming later on tonight, too, so that'd be cool. Alright. Richie Battle. Playing time. You're going to get it here in UTSA. Let's have him visit this week against Tulsa. Proximity to home. That's right. You want to come to UTSA and lead the way for our our crew of running backs here. And here are the two receivers I'm going for. 74 overall. And he's a little bit of a disappointment with a negative one there. But we're in first place for him. We're going against big schools like Texas A&M, Michigan, Oregon. And we're probably going to end up getting them. We were 480 up. And I'm just going to keep giving him 60 minutes a week. And he's on the recruit advisory bonus too. So I'm not sure how you get somebody on the recruiting advisory bonus. But when you do, you get a ton of points. 
I'm not very, like, I haven't done a ton of recruiting before, so I'm not sure the entire workings of it, but I think I'm decent at it. We'll probably get about 600 points for this guy. And we're probably not going to get anything for this. We'll probably actually go negative. Ah, no, we have 50. Okay. 644 for Tim Whitaker. We'll show you his ratings quick. He's from Texas. And he's an 84 speed. He's got C catching. Actually, I want to find out more, more, more about him. So I'm going to give him 20 minutes of scouting. Give me his catching. 73, that's decent. Nothing special. 93 carrying. 80 route running. He's going to be like a number two possession receiver. Not a number one necessarily. And then Randy Jones is the other receiver we're looking at here. And they're both six foot. Randy Jones is a little bit bigger than him. And we have a tremendous lead on uh, Mississippi State. Just got here what I miss. Um, I left to get French toast and had everybody like the video. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just recruiting, man. 89 speed is a little bit faster. 71 route running. 71 catching. And I think he's going to be more of a number one. I'm not sure if he's going to develop into a number one. But he's definitely going to be better than a lot of the guys that we have. And he's a 74 overall as a freshman. He can't really go wrong there. Oh, wait a minute. Not as 69 overall. So that's a good start. And because we have such a big lead, I'm only going to give him 40 minutes. I just want I want to play it safe with these good recruits here because who else am I going to give all this time to? I mean, I'm not going for a ton of recruits. I guess we, I have 28 on the board, but um, I'm, I'm really focusing on a select few, like, really tough. Like this guy, Andre Ross, the defensive end, Tim Whitaker, and I think a couple other players I'm going hard for. But mainly those three. Two receivers and a defensive end. Someone to pressure the quarterback and someone to help score points. Two of our biggest weaknesses right now. What game will you stream later? Um, I'm not sure exactly. Can Brian Leftwich lead the Steelers over the Ravens? Um, I think it's going to be an even game. I'm looking forward to a good game between those two. Kyle Allen is another guy I'm looking forward to. 67 overall tight end. Looks like we're pretty well in the running for him with 960 ahead of Notre Dame. He's an 80 speed tight end. Got to work on blocking a little bit, but look at his catching ratings. They're pretty good. He's got good acceleration, good pass catching tight end ratings. Receiving tight end definitely. And with I believe, I believe we're losing Jeremiah Muller this off season, so he's a guy who may have an opportunity to play kind of early behind David Morgan, maybe be the second tight end. Like, I'm going for this This offseason's kind of going towards getting guys who can make an impact next year. It was kind of a risky strategy that succeeded in a lot of ways. Only going to get about 250, 260 on this guy. Are you buying Black Ops 2? Uh, I'm still not planning on it. I'm going to go tonight and renew probably my red box, but I'm not sure. What would you guys like to see later on if I do stream with those guys? I'm not sure if we're all going to play the same exact game or if we're just going to sit there and talk together and play different stuff. Because um, I have some PS3 games I'd like to play that I know they don't have. So I have Little Big Planet Karting, I have Need for Speed Most Wanted, I also have WWE 13 on the Xbox and Halo 4. So it kind of depends on what you guys want to see. Let me know. This is a left tackle or just a tackle I'm looking for. Hopefully it's not a right tackle because we have plenty of those right now. Like I think all the tackles went for last year ended up being right tackles. But I think I can always change someone's position. And here is a guard I'm looking for. Dwayne Williams, 64 overall. We're getting a lot more 3 and 4 star prospects. And we're ahead of Texas Tech by a lot. 79 run blocking or pass blocking, 71 run blocking. Definitely help Eric Souza. Actually, Souza's not going to be the quarterback next year. So it's going to help maybe our our current freshman stay on his feet a little bit. I think we're going to end up starting the freshman over John Simmons just because he's younger and he's going to have more time to develop then. We'll compare the ratings, though, and we'll make decision later. Maybe after we play the game in this stream, guys, we can look at some ratings and see if we can change some positions and try to have an idea of what's going to happen next year. We get about 300 this session for Dwayne Williams. 
A lot of Halos coming in. Ooh, Black Ops, Halo, WWE, WWE, Halo, WWE, WWE, Halo, U more UTSA Flash Jackson, Halo, Halo, Evans Okacha, this, Raiders, WWE, Need for Speed, Halo, Halo, Raiders. A lot of Halo comments actually, and a lot of WWE 13 comments too. I got a text message quick. Ah, I don't want my French toast to get cold either. Let's go. Alright, Marcus Thompson, 70 pass block, 75 run block. I, I want to get a look at him. Not Larry Brown. What do you guys think? Is Mike D'Antoni going to be able to turn around the Los Angeles Lakers? You know, I don't talk about basketball much, but that's a major storyline in the sports world right now because that team doesn't lose. That's not normal. I forget when this the last time it started out this poorly. It was like the year they, year before they got Magic Johnson. Is the French toast good? Have you ever had bad French toast? I always have it. And it's really good. We're gonna love it. Let's see, Brandon Melton, are you any good? Canyon Lake, Texas, not really. So we're gonna get him off the board and we'll check out Larry Brown, who's also 100% scouted. He's 66 and 66. Ah, uh, I'm not really gonna go for any recruiting on him because I don't have any competition. But maybe I could give him a scholarship and see if he. Oh, come on, man! Soft to Texas. I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it some effort here. I'm gonna try to scoop him away. Hmm. Most people are saying no right here. I've never had French bad French toast. See, guys, how old are you, Tim? I'm 20 years old. It's hard to mess up French toast unless you put something wrong in the in the batter you use to lather up the toast or the bread. Oh, like one time I tried to convince my girlfriend that you have to put vinegar in French toast because I got it mixed up with vanilla, so I could have really messed it up big time. <laughs> Andre Ross has already been recruited. Ray Herring. We're in the lead here. 85% scouted. Yeah, I, the thing I don't like about this guy is he's got 62 speed but 87 acceleration. Like, he's slow as hell. He's only 242 pounds. Like, he's not like a big slow guy. He's like, just slow. Say porcupine. <laughs> Who is better, Matt Saracen or Vince Howard? A line eye for life one. You are the man. I love that show. Friday Night Lights was a masterpiece. I'd say Matt Saracen was better. He was a beast. Took him to state. I love the storyline with Vince Howard. That was an awesome character development and everything with that story. If you've never seen Friday Night Lights, it used to be on NBC. It was a phenomenal show that wasn't advertised enough and wasn't popular enough, but it had a very good following, just not a big enough following. And it was an extremely good show, very good. I, I think it's tr tremendous, and it's on Netflix, the entire thing. Hurricane, ham or turkey? Ham. I'm not, I don't like turkey. I can handle ham, though. That's why Thanksgiving isn't my favorite day of the year. I'm always left out. Have you ever watched Blue Mountain State? Yes, I have. Who is better, Braxton Miller or Denard Robinson? I'll take Braxton Miller because I'm not a big fan of Denard Robinson as a quarterback. 
And here are two other big recruits, guys. Two four-star defensive tackles. These guys could really anchor the defensive line, and I kind of forgot about them, and I haven't given them enough of a focus in this uh, update here. So which one needs more time? Definitely this guy with Texas A&M creeping up on us. Anthony Allen. He's going to come visit us. Let's have him come during Texas State because I want to make sure he comes to one we have a good chance of winning. Yeah, strong playing time first year on campus. This is a guy who I'd want to start early probably. Say, come on, man. Come on, man. I think Chris Carter has a really good come on, man. He says it pretty well. Alex Moran for life. Wait, wasn't Moran that one guy's son? That guy... Oh, wait a minute. No, Moran is from Blue Mountain State. Who's the one from uh, Friday Night Lights? The, the one kid's son that he has to play quarterback that ends up taking over the Dillon Panthers. That guy was a douche. I haven't seen Colin Klein play, or I don't even know who Marcus Mariota is. Isn't that like a quarterback for Oregon or something like that? Let me type it in. I'm good with names, so if it's actually Oregon, that's just my memory making up for, I don't know, Marcus Mariota. Oh, he is a quarterback for Oregon. Good memory. Never watched him play, but I know he plays there. Alright, so let's do some scouting on these guys now. Oh, what the hell. 61 stamina. You better build that up, big boy. You're only 270, you don't have an excuse. Kellen Thomas. Good pursuit, we like to see that. We're going to do some recruiting for this guy. J.D. McCoy. Why is everybody saying J.D. McCoy? Oh, Joe McCoy. That's right. You guys have seen Friday Night Lights. Thank you. I forgot completely what I was talking about. Yeah, that guy was a douchebag. So was his dad. But really good characters. Oh, we're not going to get Michael Fuller probably. Oh, well, we have Dominic Carter. How good is this guy going to be? 65 Pursuit. Uh, nothing special. This guy could be one we redshirt and try to develop a little bit because he has good speed. And if he can develop his coverage ratings a little bit at 6'3", he could be a good player. And we'll check out the rest of this guy. Patrick Thompson was just a guy I was taking a shot on. What's your speed? A D? Come on. Give me a solid number. 85? Oh, we're not going to get it this week. All right. Well, that's where we're at in the recruiting update right now. And let's see our pipeline states. I think it's only one. We're starting to get some from Louisiana, but otherwise we're pretty much all Texas. His dad made him a douche. It really wasn't his fault. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen it in a long time. I missed that show. I gotta watch it over again. Did you ever play football? And if you did, what position? I played running back, corner, and safety. I always wanted to play wide receiver, but didn't. Tulsa. All right. So, guys, that is a recruiting update. That took about a half hour. I'm stopping the capture right now. I'm going to restart the capture right after this is done, just because we are going to well, start a new capture, of course. And this is going to be Tulsa versus UTSA here in Week 10. So we're going to take a look at our stats and their stats and compare. You can see here Eric Souza, 13 touchdowns to 13 picks. Evan Zocaccia coming off of a great running performance, over 120 yards. Guys about 448 on the season, has missed a couple of games too. And Brandon Freeman leads us in receiving. On defense, how we doing in the sack department? Like, not many. I know Jerron Harris was much better than these guys. We have six total interceptions. We had two last game, two very big ones, too. 
Well, I was going to check out their stats. Just got anyone that I missed? You missed uh, just recruiting. Nothing really majorly important. I mean, you're going to see in the recruiting update anyway. And now Tulsa. Once we get to the T's. Their quarterback, Cody Green from College Station, Texas, 17 or 19 and 5. The running back, hmm, nothing really impressive here. They have a two headed attack list with Cody Wilson and Lawrence Garcia. Receiving, Kieris Garrett, 6'4. I, I, I'm scared of the tall receivers. Jordan James, Samuel Crabtree, Greg Brown. On defense, we got to look out for Donnell Hawkins, Derek Alexander, and James Roberson or Robertson or. However you feel like saying it. And so guys, week 10 versus Tulsa at the Astrodome. We have some recruits coming in. And so hopefully we can put on a show and uh, continue to build this football team. I played receiver this year for the Renegades in the LMFA in Canada. What does that stand for? What's the best NFL rivalry game you watch? Um, Vikings versus Packers. It's been the biggest rivalry of... Well, I'm a big Vikings fan, so of course. But other than them, I think Steelers and Ravens are a fun one to watch. Cowboys and Giants, Cowboys and Eagles are fun to watch. Um, I like Bears and Packers. But Vikings and Packers takes a cake for me. All right, there's Souza. Getting ready. My French toast is getting cold, by the way. Pats and Jets, Seahawks, Niners, Saints, Falcons. Do you watch first take? Hell no. I don't want to listen to Skip Brainless. All right, let's go, Roadrunners. I got my friend's toes. Sign on. Why are you number 92? So with that. All right, get James on the ground. There we go, Mike Butler. Why is our starting safety playing special teams? I don't know. NCAA logic. Hurricane, for your thousandth video, can we see your face? I think I might do it before my thousandth video. Hint, hint. Oh, get Wilson. Come on, Cody Rogers. No! Butler, get over there. Make the tackle. First play of the game. Ugly as hell. And they're on a no huddle. That was not good. Horrible display of tackling. Let's see what they do this play. Garcia back to throw in the pocket. Oh, Blitz picked up and now he's going to escape. And fumbles the ball. And we got it. It's UTSA football. Oh, they had a good play, and then they try to get another big play and fumble. That gives the Roadrunners the football. Thank you. Do you watch wrestling during the football season? Not much, to be honest. Not much at all. All right, handoff. Oh, Kacha now. And he can't find the running room, and he is thrown to the ground after a gain of two. Alright, second down and eight for Eric Souza, and he leads the way for Moeller to make a catch for four yards, that'll be third and four coming up now as we try to do something on this first opportunity with the football after a turnover. Third and four. Souza back to throw. He's got Okacha out of the backfield. Come on, pick up a block for me. Come on, if that guy went outside and tried to hit that block, that was easy first down. I went with a safe play there. Let's see, Mr. I can't pick up a block. Yeah, I mean, he's wide open here. Plenty of room to get the first down. 
and Muller decides to get the inside guy instead of the guy I have to face up right there at the marker. So we're punting. Taking a bite of French toast. I almost have it done. Here we go. Punt is away. And not much coverage downfield. Trying to get down there and tackle James. And we wrap him up at the 43-yard line. Soza actually tweets me back on Twitter. He's so chill. Yeah, I mean, I tweet back and forth with Darian Starling, uh, Evans Okacha, and David Glasgow. And they're all really cool guys, and they're really down to earth. And pretty much every time I think I tweet, I've tweeted them, they've replied. They're really nice guys. I haven't gotten around to playing with them on Madden or NCAA or anything yet. I would like to. Second down and five. Green, is he going to run again? Over the middle and dropped. So we're going to see third and five coming up now. Can Tulsa get it going? How do you think the Vikings do this year? Well, they're already six and four, so I can't really say anything that say a whole lot because the game's already the year's already pretty much well, a lot of it is over. And we do stop them on third down here, but the Vikings are I think are gonna need to go at least four and two to make the playoffs, which is gonna be extremely tough. I think they have to sweep either the Bears or the Packers and uh, at least take one game away from the other team and beat the Rams. The Texans are gonna be a tough test. But you never know. Fourth and inches, and the punt is away back deep as Harrison is gonna let it go. And why don't why don't the computer why doesn't the computer ever try to kick it like out of bounds or like pin it inside the twenty? All they do is get touchbacks. How is that even possible? All right, first and ten now. Souza looking to throw over the middle, and Moeller can't hang on. So I bring up a second down now, and remember, we've succeeded in the last couple of games now, running with the fullback in front of our running back, and I picked the wrong formation. We're going to switch it up. Glasgow's now in at tight end. Harrison's at tight end. Let's get Harrison off the line of scrimmage. If it goes to him. Ah. Here we go, over the middle, Kenny Harrison makes a catch for five yards, that'll bring up a third and five, as we try to get our first first down of the game. Maybe too much dink and dunk, uh, stretch the field a little bit more. I know you guys would highly prefer that. I got All-Pro Football 2K for three bucks at the official Redskins store in Montgomery Mall. That's a good deal. All-Pro Football is a really good game. Third and five, here we go, they're not blitzing us. And dump off Okacha first down runners as we move up ahead to the 39 yard line, perhaps. Oh, 34, never mind. Dude, your voice is ahead of the video. Uh, how much? Should only be like half a second or a second at the most. Uh, they're bunching it up too much here. Alright, Souza makes an adjustment, he takes the snap, and he's going to face a rush and go down. They brought a bunch of extra defenders that time, including one guy who came unblocked, and Souza never stood a chance. Hey, from the UK, Hurricane, up late hanging with you. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there, uh, in the UK, it must be 12-12, I believe. So it is kind of late there, not too bad. Over the middle, caught Jeremiah Moeller, and he gets up past the 40-yard line and gets close to a UTSA first down, only three yards to go now on third. And so Souza back to throw. He's got Harrison first down towards the sideline. Got a little bit of separation there early, and Souza finds him to get the conversion now as we approach midfield. I 
A couple of seconds? Three seconds? Is it really that much? Hmm. That's kind of odd. Anyway, Souza pitch outside. Okacha off of the, the option. He gets two yards on a gain. Running a lot more out of the shotgun, by the way. Just because they're only getting sacked. Alright, second down and eight. Here we go. Right side. Oh, caught Freeman. They couldn't bat it away in time. He just made that catch. Great play. Great catch by Brandon Freeman. I told you guys, he's the most sure-handed receiver on this team. It's not laggy at all, nor is it delayed. It's fine. It's fine. It's just people's connection. Yeah, it's oftentimes the case. And now, oh, here's the read option. And Souza. Oh, I forgot the, the slide button there for a second. I hit square, although I, I guess I had it right. I just hit it too late. So that's a gain of four, though. As we have a pretty good drive going here. Who do you think is better, Redskins or Vikings? I know the Redskins beat the Vikings. I think the Vikings are a better team because they have a better defense. And I think better special teams. And their offense is kind of getting it going now. Oh, Cam Jones is open for a first down up past the 25-yard line now as we approach the red zone. This drive began at the 20, I think. We had a touchback, I believe. And now we are, we've almost gone 60 yards. So Souza hands off Okacha, trying to find some running room, and he can't loss of one on the play. Charlotte Bobcats or Detroit Tigers? Why are we comparing teams in different sports that are on different levels? So no score so far. We're looking to change that here in a little bit. All right, second down and 11. Anthony Banks, you got to go over there. Glasgow, can you go in motion, please? Here we go. Here we go. You got Banks. Come on, man. The receiver is covered. He couldn't even block him. And so Banks loses a few. And it's going to be third and 16 from the 30 now as we try to at least stay in field goal range. But, oh, man, Okach is hurt. Back spasms out for one quarter. That's ridiculous. He's gotten hurt so many times in this series. Third and 16, though. Here we go. Souza. A wide open Moeller. And he's going to get about 10 yards in the catch. And that is going to get us at least an easier field goal. And we're going to we're gonna put Anthony Banks in. Keep it safe. Don't want to get the Koch hurt. 37 yards. And Sean Iano's kick is good. 3-0 UTSA now in the second quarter. On the board first. Almost all my friends fold. That was a 13 play drive. Had a few third down conversions tied in there. You think Colts can make playoffs? I do think they can. I think any team that has a quarterback as good as Andrew Luck has a shot at the playoffs no matter who else is around them. Teams rally around a quarterback. Look how bad the Saints would be without Drew Brees. Honestly. There's no talent on that team that can make up for Brees. That's why I think Breeze is the most valuable player in the league. Alright, Garrett in motion. Going from right to left, and they hand the ball off up the middle. Garcia looks for a crease. He gets a little bit of room, and he gets seven yards in the carry. They're keeping up a no-huddle approach here. Which I'm not always a big fan of, because it makes the game last longer. And then Green is going to fake the read option and look to pitch it, but he fakes it, but he's not going to get away from number 29. I wish we had the names on the back of our jerseys, though, because I am not as good as remem at remembering these names. I actually lost two yards in that play. So we have a third and four coming up now. Can we get them off the field again? Get our offense back out there. Garcia takes the snap, and Butler hits him, and Kerfez cleans him up, and he is stopped short of the first down marker. Three straight stops. Good job, defense. Well, everybody's saying Cam burned his man. Yeah, that happens a lot. I typically miss him. 
Philadelphia Vikings or Minnesota Eagles? <laughs> Which team has Michael Vick? Because I'm picking the other team. I wish I had some milk. Instead, I have water and Gamma Labs next to me. Speaking of which, Gamma Labs link in the description if you want to check that out for five dollars off with coupon code Kane C A N E. Gotta plug that in there. Anyway, Souza pitch outside Glasgow on the option, and well, that didn't work. Yet lost a yard. Who's going to be your quarterback after Souza? Um, the backup right now is currently John Simmons, but we have a guy who is redshirted. We will take a look at him after this episode, after this game, I should say. Here we go, Souza. Come on, go outside. No, no, not a pick. No. I was playing decent up until that point. I was hoping I could throw it to an open area and he'd make a catch. Damn. I had a couple of guys more open than him. Now that I look at the play again. Have a man in motion. Once again, going up the gut. Garcia, this time goes nowhere. We'll give him credit for two yards. And now second down. Green hands off to Garcia again. Looking to go to the outside, but too many UTSA defenders in the way. What Thanksgiving Day games are in the NFL? Well, I think we're going to uh, isn't Packers and Lions every year. We're going to see, I know we're going to see Raiders and Bengals because that's in my uh, Connected Careers mode. Oh, Green, look, what is he doing? <laughs> and then he goes, no! 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 What the hell just happened there? Guys, what in the hell just happened? What was this? What was that? Oh my god. That was a stupid touchdown. I don't agree with this. Will the New York Giants go to the playoffs? Are they done? I think they're going to win their division because every other team in that division is playing like trash. Oh man, the, the green man shuffle for the touchdown. Yes, the green man shuffle. What the hell? That was stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Kicking back deep to Kenny Harrison. Get us some good field position, Kenny. Come on. Up to the 20. Got some decent blocking to the 24. I thought he was going to get sacked, to be honest. All right, first and ten. Souza back to throw. He goes right side, and whoa, I had Freeman there open, but he didn't even try to catch that football. Wasn't the most accurate pass in the world, but come on, man. That makes it second and ten. Any chances Bucks make it to postseason? I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if they keep playing strong and Freeman keeps playing well and they can um, be in the wild card hunt. I don't know with that defense, though, if they're going to be competitive enough. They can get scored on a lot. Alright. Th oh, why am I picking a run play? Good thing I noticed. Whoops. I'm going to call a timeout and choose a new formation. Not bad. Gonna put four wide on the field. Muscle Hamster going strong. Hey, Doug Martin. I'm liking him a lot. Glad I drafted him in fantasy in the sixth round. Or whenever I did, eighth round, something like that. <laughs> he can't stand that nickname, though. Third down and eight for Eric Souza under center. And he's. Oh, no. If I would have thrown it a little bit earlier, maybe he was open. Let me see if I missed somebody in that play. I probably did. Uh, triangle. <laughs> Jesus. I rush my throws too much because I anticipate too much pressure because my offensive line isn't that good. 
I gotta do a much better job of playing quarterback the right way. Nice hit. Louisville big over Syracuse 24 nothing right now. Oklahoma State 21 West Virginia 0. As I'm talking about this game by the way not real life or anything. I traded Calvin Johnson after the Bears game for Ryan Matthews. Smart move. I don't think so because I don't like Ryan Matthews. Uh, one, he doesn't stay healthy. And two, Calvin Johnson has had the best game of his of the season last week, statistically. Nerve damage and a concussion and double coverage can't take him down. He still gets 200 yards. Granted, the Vikings had really uh, mismatched corners against them. Third and two. Can we get off the field, please? Don't let him get a big gain here. We got to get some pressure and hopefully force an incomplete pass. You got to play man. Cover zero. This is major risk. I'm taking it, though. I'm risky. Come on, guys. Green. No, he finds his man underneath. Starling can't take him down. Nichols trying to get the angle on him, and he is taken down from behind at the 24 yard line. But he was shut down against the Bears? Well, he was shut down one week against the Vikings, too. How's the fantasy team doing? I'm 5-5, five and five, but I have the most points scored in my league, so I can't really... All I can do is try to score as many points as I can. I've scored more than anybody else by, like, 60. I have a good team, but I, I, I get really bad matchups against people. They just I play against people's best weeks in the season. Second and six. Green, don't take off, please. He throws it away. Third down and six coming up now. All right. Adika? I don't even know how to say this guy's name. But he had a fumble recovery earlier. Green, he's going to go right side. No, he's got his man Garrett. Got separation off of Darian Starling. Let's watch him here and see how, how it looked. Oh, he just cuts here and Sterling cuts too late. Got separation. A booth review. I didn't notice how many minutes is each quarter. I forgot. <laughs> I think. Actually, I don't even remember. I'll have to tell you at the beginning of the third quarter. Because I don't even remember, to be honest. I think it's like six or seven. I, I, I don't even remember, though. All right, Green. We're trying to get the pressure. And Mike Butler takes him down. Second down and goal coming up. They burn a timeout. Second down and goal. And now Green's running the option. Going outside. Cody Rogers is there for the tackle. And third and goal coming up. Oh boy, we just can't leave somebody uncovered. Like Garcia. Uh oh. Uh oh. And Green from behind. He is tackled. And UTSA calls a timeout. They're held to a field goal. Good defense. Why isn't field goal blocked the default play there? Come on, man. Do you think the Falcons can win all of their next games? No, I think they're going to be 13 and 3 or 14 and 2. They're not going to be 15 and 1 out there. Did you hear about all the moves the Blue Jays have made? Oh, you mean the fire sale with the Miami Marlins? Who apparently don't like having any good players in the team? I can't believe. I, I can't imagine how it would be to be a fan of the Miami Marlins because you're going to support the team, but you're not always going to support the decisions the team makes. And how can anybody support what they're doing right now? That team is going to be a 30 win team this season, I swear. Maybe that's a little drastic, but look what they're doing. Oh no. Moeller almost made a terrific play there, but I I was hoping he would lob it a lot more and wouldn't throw such a duck. Alright, just no picks. No picks. They're not allowed here. Not in this scenario. But Souza is allowed to take off until he gets sacked. I was looking to take off the whole time.
All right, clock's winding down here in the first half. This week, best Sunday Night Football matchup. Oh, uh, we have a really good one this week, indeed. Although Cutler's not playing, so we'll see how Jason Campbell can do. Souza looking to scramble, and he can't get the first down. But did they call a timeout? Yes, they did. Otherwise, I was going to let it run down to like three seconds and then run one more play, but instead I'm going to punt the ball. Punts it out of bounds, and you can take your chances on a Hail Mary if you want. Ten to three. I would have asked for a trade too if I was Stanton. Oh, John Carlos Stanton asked for a trade. I didn't hear that. I heard he was upset and he was venting on Twitter a little bit. So 10 to 3 at the half, and I forget who gets the ball first. I think we do because they started off with those two good runs, and then we got the football back. So we're keeping it close here in the Alamo Dome. Come on, runners. We got Kenny Harrison back deep. And we have the numbers on the blocking. Come on, Harrison. Oh, he's tripped up at the 29 yard line. And it looks like he's hurt, too. Oh, I like Kenny. I like our slot receiver. Would you bench Souza? No, because ultimately I'm the quarterback and I'm the one making the decisions. So I'd have bench anybody else, I'd just have to hand the controller to someone else. Uh, come on, Souza. Oh, no. Come on! No! Oh my god, I tried to hit triangle instead of I hit triangle instead of R1. I had him wide open. I just hit the wrong button. God. That's annoying when you do that. Because usually Monroe is triangle. And instead he was playing tight end, so I was all mixed up. Second down and 15. And no one open. Fourth sack by Tulsa. Wasn't forcing it on that play. Terrible drive to start this up. Alright, third and 26. We gotta play the field position game here, probably. Which we're going to here with this pass to Okacha. Face mask him. Do you get any positive yards? No. They close in so fast. Like Heisman difficulty is pretty hard, especially with a team like this. I mean, they do everything right, and they're so much faster. Like, I think Okacha is like 82 speed or something like that, 84 at the most. Not a good start in the second half. I had circle. Which play? Was it the second down or the third down play? Green throwing outside, caught Patterson, but he gets maybe a yard at the most, so good defensive play there. Our defense has shown up today. A double safety blitz. And Garcia hands off to Lowe, Butler is there, and a strong tackle. No forward progress, and he is down with three, seven yards to go for the first down. Come on, third and seven, they have a man in motion, they throw it to him, that's Crabtree, and he is stopped short of the first down marker by Steven Kerfes. Tremendous defense, can the offense step up? Are you having another live stream tonight with Nottis fan? I want to, and we'll see what time he gets home and what time he can, and I'm not sure what we're going to play. Fourth and two, and his field goal is no good, our defense is keeping us in it. We just have to play offense, which we haven't in a while. First and ten, Souza hands off Okacha, trying to get running room, he gets two yards, we call it three. We're not going to play so much out of the shotgun now, because it wasn't really succeeding, especially in the passing game. Let's 
Second down and seven. Souza back to throw. Out of the backfield. Brandon Armstrong. Three yards again. Third and four coming up. Can we get a conversion? All right, third down and four. Outside. Moeller makes the catch, goes upfield, first down runners. There we go, that's what we needed. Good play. I wanted Freeman, but it wasn't open. And now, once again, handoff to Okacha. Great blocking and tripped up short of the first down. Nine yards. And now Souza on second down and one. He wants to throw. And I'm going to run. Souza gets the first down just barely. I didn't want to take a chance with his arm on the run. He's tired now, so we're going to have to run the ball for a couple plays to get him untired. And off Okacha, stretch plays, got room to run, trying to go up field, he gets seven. Tough running. Yeah, he's red, so I don't want to pass the ball until he's really ready to pass again. Because remember that last episode, I think it was, where he was throwing those inaccurate passes? It was because he was red. Souza, Glasgow, first down, that's what we needed right there. We may have to run this clock to the, the fourth quarter just so we can get a fresh Souza in the game without burning a timeout. Has he done recruiting yet? Yes, I have. But I may do another round of recruiting and put that in the, in the recruiting update as well. Because we might have a little bit more progress and more stuff to talk about. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to run some clock here. I want to take us to the fourth quarter so I can get Souza fresh again. Glasgow. No! Fumble! And it's recovered by Leonard. Oh, you avoid a disaster there, but it's going to be second down coming up on this next play. Souza is still fatigued. Hurricane is a Tebow time for the Jets? Yes, it is, in my opinion. Second down and ten, Souza hands off Okacha. Good blocking, and almost getting the first down. Third and inches coming up. We'll have that in the fourth quarter. A studio update here, though. What do we got? Northwestern knocks off number ten, Iowa, by 22 points. Wow. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. Down by seven. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please do leave a like. Oh, 276 viewers and 167 likes. Let's see if we can get to 200, guys. If I get a touchdown on this drive, I want to see 225. Uh, I'm not going to do that. But second or third and inches. This is a huge down. Come on, Okacha. Souza hands it off. First down, Evans Okacha. Why is Souza so tired? Because I was running around with him so much. David Morgan in motion. First and ten for Eric Souza. Looking to throw. Out of the backfield. Okacha makes the catch, but he loses two. Not a good pass play there. Second down and 12. Souza to throw again. Moeller underneath trying to get positive yards. He gets five. Third down and seven. How old are the UTSA Roadrunners? 
Well, in real life, this is their second year, and in my series, this is their third year. Third down and seven. Gotta put this in the end zone. We're gonna put Okacha out wide. Here it is, guys. Third down. Sows it a throw. And he finds Moeller. He's going to be stopped well shy. Only gets a yard. Was Cam open? Was Cam actually open there? Uh, he had separ a little bit of separation. He probably would have gotten it. I kind of panicked on that play. Ayano's kick is good. And it's 10-6. to UTSA still needs a touchdown to take the lead. But our defense has been playing superb. Whoops. R1 was open. I wasn't even looking to that side. I don't want to throw across the field. Not on this game. This game, you're way too interception prone doing that. Green fakes the handoff, now throws it out wide to Langer, and I missed the tackle. Damn it. No. Come on. Look at this. They're already inside the 30-yard line now because I missed one tackle. Because guys are so slow on Heisman. My team, your team just like automatically sucks in this difficulty, I swear. And then they're going to hand off to Langer. Come on, force a fumble, Kerfus. He loses a yard. Second down. What are they going to do here? Green hands it off. Oh, I missed. What a flag down. And he's going to go up the middle. And touchdown. What a flag down. It's almost certainly going to be holding. Holding, not worried about it. On Langer. They'll back him up to second and 18 from where? Give me a yard line. Their own 34. If we can knock them back maybe a little bit more, we can have a good shot at making them miss a field goal if that's what it comes down to. Second down and 18. Now they're under center, actually running a normal play. Making an adjustment. Green steps back in the pocket over the middle. Caught Crabtree. He's tackled by Eric Brown after a quick gain. And they're going to have third and seven coming up now. And we've got to play good D on this play. Come on, third and seven. we got to hold them here, runners. Come on. Snap the ball. They're waiting, I think. Like, I don't want to play press, but I want you to stand a little bit closer to your guy. There's a show blitz then. Alright, Green, back to pass. He's going to look to take off. No! He loses a yard in his sack. What a showing by our defense in this game. Wow. Are you black? No, I don't think I saw him black. Fourth down and eight. Don't whip out a fake field goal. We're not ready for it. This is to give them a touchdown lead with two minutes to go in the game. Kick is up. It splits the uprights and good. Tulsa 13, UTSA 6. So we have to get a touchdown, guys. Isn't Tulsa supposed to be a really good offense, too? I'm not really sure, because we're a year in the future, so I'm not sure how good they are. Josiah Monroe. Here we go from the goal line. Got to get a good start to this drive. And he gets a pass the 26-yard line, and he is drilled. And so we have time. Can we run the football? How well can we run the football first off? 
Handoff to Okacha. He's got some running room, and that's going to be a gain of seven. We're going to call a no huddle. And we go back to the ground game with Okacha. He's got the first down, and it's tripped up. I forget in the first. Okay. At the 37 now. First and ten for Souza. Gonna scramble out now. Oh no! Holy shit! <laughs> I wanted to throw it deep to Freeman, and I set off my back foot and just l and tried to hit square, and it just went over the middle. That could have been disaster. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Second down and four. And this pass is knocked down. I wanted to hit Monroe quick. third and four let's see I'm not sure we can convert with this draw play here don't like the looks of it Souza Freeman oh my god Freeman you always catch the ball no alright we have to convert here fourth down and four Souza out of the shotgun. Gonna go long for Cam Jones to the sideline. Oh, Freeman, first down. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, what a catch. Oh, well, oh, no way. No way. No way. He did not catch that, did he? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Look at this pass. Did he actually get a foot down? There's the catch. Oh, give me a better view. Damn. Why? It can't, it's not let me go down. I can't look down. I gotta get out of here. Oh. Come on. Did he actually get... Oh my god. Did he get that down? Is that down right there? Guys, that's touching the green. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his foot is in the turf. Holy shit, what a catch. No way. Oh my god. Freeman for MVP. He just made that catch. What the hell? Inside of a minute to go now. Hand off to Okacha. Breaks a tackle. Going up the middle. And seven yard gain. We're going to call a timeout. That was one of the best catches I've ever seen in the video game. I, I didn't think he was in bounds, to be honest. Second and three. Handoff to Okacha. He's got running room. Look at Okacha. Going. Touchdown. UTSA. We got it. Someone said, just don't mess up now. I didn't. What a play. And then Okacha for, Okacha for Heisman, Freeman, Freeman for Heisman, I don't care. 13 to 13. Nelson out of the end zone. What if we got a turnover here? Force a fumble! We can win the Flint Mega Bowl. <laughs> the Flint Michigan Mega Bowl. Alright, Tulsa has the ball now with 42 seconds and they are throwing. Caught by Garrett! Oh, don't let him get a big first down there. 
They're almost in the midfield, almost to midfield now, and this is not the time to melt down on defense. We've played so well up until this point. First and ten now from the 43-yard line. They have two timeouts in 37 seconds. Handoff, Garcia up the gut, and he's tackled by Steven Kerfus after a gain of five, and they're forced to burn another. Are you going to play prevent you from winning defense? Nope. Don't believe in it. I believe in trusting your defenders. Or pretending you do. Second down and five. Green back in the pocket. Hands off Garcia again. Rogers is there. And Gerfiz cleans him up. Third and inches coming now. They are going to run no huddle. Will they run the football again though? 20 seconds to go. They're throwing. Green in the pocket. And he's going to go long. Going deep. And almost picked off by Darian Starling. Fourth and inches. Starling almost picked that off. 15 seconds to go. Okay. We're going to let that one go. Into the end zone. Nine seconds. Oh, boy. Nine seconds to go. Souza to throw. He finds Josiah, or not Josiah Monroe. Yeah, that is Josiah Monroe, actually. We got one time for one more play, otherwise, we got to go to overtime. Whoops. And I know what I want to do here. I don't want to take any major chances. Screen pass to Anthony Banks. I'm not throwing this deep, no. Here we go. Anthony Banks off the screen pass. Get me some blocks, Cam. What are you doing not blocking? We hit the first down, but it doesn't mean anything as time expires and we're going to overtime. I'm going to get some more people in the stream, guys. One second. Tulsa calls heads. They do. It's right, and they're going to play defense first, it looks like. This actually plays into our advantage more, guys, because a shorter field, we should have played for overtime the whole time, because with a shorter field, we can run the ball. That's our game. All right, I form handoff. Okacha up the gut gets the tough six yards. We got a short field. Second down and four. Souza hands off. Okacha. Look at the blocking. Come on. Okacha inside the 10. And if we would have picked up that last block there, it would have been six. First and goal. Souza. Play action. Rolling out. End zone. Moeller. Touchdown, UTSA. Went with the play action. Got the touchdown. UTSA scores first in overtime. And now can the defense get us a victory? Ayano's kick is good. Time for defense. All we got to do is hold them. First down, Green fakes the handoff to Garcia. Over the middle, it's over! It's over! Cody Rogers ends it! Picked off! UTSA gets the victory! It's over! One play is all it took! What a defensive showing by the UTSA defense. Oh boy! Game.
end of the game, the final score is the Roadrunners 20. The, the Roadrunners are victorious. Wow, that was the game to have in a live stream for sure. Two in a row. We had recruits in attendance again. What a game. We win the Flint Mega Bowl! <laughs> exactly. Player of the game was Evan Zocaccia. Is that what it said? See you, at the next game. Thank you, so much for out and you need your fans to encourage you to win it. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Look at 76 behind him. <laughs> what a game. That was fantastic. The second best game I've played on here, it says. Let's take a look at the stats for UTSA. Souza was 21 of 28. I throw, I can complete 21 passes and only get 130 yards. That's how much of a dink and dunker I am. One touchdown. Evan Zocaccia, 14 for 99. What a guy. Brandon Freeman, perhaps the man of the hour, because without him, we are not in this situation. UTSA streams are always epic. Stream this all the time. I, I can't argue with that. It's the truth. Defense. Can't say enough for what they did. Mike Butler and Kerfiz and Rogers had great games. 20 to 13 though. What a game. Oh my goodness. Hurricane, or second best, what was number one? Was it that Clemson game when the game first came out? Oh, you've been here for a while. That might have been it, actually. Was that the quad overtime game with, like, Clemson and... I forget who else. I want to say Florida State, but I could be wrong. That was a crazy game, too, though. I think I lost that one. Golden Hurricane are dropped in overtime by a stubborn UTSA squad. Next up is the Marshall Thundering Herd. Hopefully they don't have uh, any Randy Moss-like players. Him and Chad Pennington had a connection in college. When going to be your next Madden 13 livestream? I'm not sure exactly, but if you follow me on Twitter, you'll definitely know. So now we just gotta do this recruiting. Yeah, it was when the fullback dropped a pass that cost you the game. Where was the flea flicker? <laughs> I don't think I have it in this playbook. <coughs> Play Tulsa again next year? I think I'm always playing him because like in my division or whatever. Golden Hurricanes go down to the Fighting Hurricanes. <laughs> Brandon Freeman. What a freaking catch. It was Miami and you lost that game online, that's right. It was an ACC matchup. That was a fun time. I had some good times in this game when it first came out. I wish Road to Glory was a little bit better though. I've wanted to play as a defensive back this year. Oh, we just got four recruits, guys. A fullback, the tight end, the guard, and the defensive end I wanted. Oh, they must have been watching that Tulsa game. I think I might have to post the recruiting update after the Tulsa episode. Are we favored to win yet? Nope. 
Hurricane, when he get good, move to the Big 12. That's a possibility. So let's see the top classes. We are 64th. We have one one-star player. That's the fullback. They're always one-stars, I think. And four three-star players now. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's see if we have any more soft commits now. Ooh, there's a soft UTSA in Kellen Thomas. Yeah, I'm going to stop the... Well, actually, I'm going to keep capturing whatever. Brandon Hurricane flip out Freeman. <laughs> oh, see, this is one of the guys I was scouting. I'm going to give him some time here. Because I, I don't really have to scout anybody else. 87 speed. Can you catch? No 48. Can't block. He's mildly fast with no acceleration. Sorry, we're out of school for you. But I got the fullback I wanted. Richie Battle. Seventy nine speed. Uh he's gotta be a little bit better of a run blocker though, definitely. But I think he can run the ball a little bit himself. Built for it. Wide receiver. Tim Whitaker, where are we at with him? Top schools is what we need. Well, what was that? Oh, that was my tablet. What does it need? Checking my Nexus quick. We got an update. Um, updates available. Two updates found. Uh, no, nah, I'll just do it later. I'm the person who always waits to update software and stuff. Like crazy. Alright, Whitaker. Are you using default sliders? I am using default Heisman sliders. And they're not perfect, but I, I'm enjoying the games, which is, which is important, and they're mildly realistic. Especially for the type of team UTS 8 currently is with only 280 overall players. I mean, look at what Steven Kerfis does, and imagine when I have more players that are high 70s, low 80s, and even in the 90s. I'm going to have some good players if guys like him and Jerron Harris are dominant at like 82 or an 81. So just remember that, guys. Players are going to get better. And then the game is going to become easier. Alright, so we're going to try to get these two receivers here, although I already have a bunch of them. Stadium atmosphere. What do you think about that? Did you watch our game last week against Tulsa? See a four-star receiver? We're going up, guys. You can see some growth. Kyle Allen, we got this tight end. We're good. 80 speed. 80 spectacular catch. He's a better catcher than a blocker. Jimmy Jones. What are his ratings again? Yeah, he's got decent. Might be a guy I red shirt. So, do you guys play Dynasty mode on all, at all on your own? Like, what's the furthest you guys ever gone into your Dynasty? Like, I have never gone into more than a year because this is the furthest I've ever gone into Dynasty because I'm more of a Madden guy. But I'm really enjoying this Dynasty mode, and I think that they have a lot of really good pieces in it. I can't wait for NCAA 14, though, because hopefully it has the Infinity Engine, and it's a lot better game. This game, I don't think it was terrible, but it could have been much better, especially had it had the, the new engine.
Marcus Thompson. Let's see. Oh, everybody's giving me answers. One year, two years, four years, four years. Oh, man, if Chris the dog misses episode, he's going to be upset. One and a half years. Week one, then I got bored. Three years, Maryland Terps. They suck. Six years in NCAA 04. In year three of Online Dynasty. Yeah, I think an Online Dynasty would be easier to take uh, control of to last a long time. All right, 48 viewers. YouTube's messing with me again. Just killed the numbers. Come on, YouTube. Why do you do this? And then you never give it back. You never, like, pick it back up. I'm going to do an experiment here, guys. I'm going to stop a stream and go back again. Alright, I'm back. I want to see if that gets the numbers back up at all. Or maybe, what if you guys refresh your page? See if that brings the numbers back up. Because that, it always... I don't know why it's been doing that as of late, but I don't know why anything happens to this website anymore. I'm doing some quick calls now. I'm not so concerned about these guys. Yeah, if you guys try refreshing, I'm not sure if it'll fix it, but it's worth a shot. Soft UTSA. You want to come here, Kellen Thomas. Oh, man. We're getting some points. Refresh, and now it's 41. Huh. That's really annoying, though, because even though um, there is more than 41 people in here, it ends up not even giving me the correct view counts then. It doesn't update the right way anymore. Come on, I want to go after Anthony Allen here. Yeah. Nope, still at 41. Guess people don't care for recruiting much. No, YouTube's been doing this lately where they, they just, like, all of a sudden, like, most of your viewers drop. Like, I've been recruiting now for a few minutes. And if, I'm the only one that can see this, but it takes a massive dip at 7.01. And by 7.02, we had lost over 230 viewers. And it doesn't work that way in a minute. It's a problem on YouTube's end, uh, one of many. This website is buggy. I mean, we need an exterminator on this website because it's full of bugs and problems. Are you a gem, Tim Christian? How good of a gem are you? Uh, I think you might be a guy I would be willing to redshirt. Just accept it right here. Like, who else is going to offer? No one's even interested. Twitch is good. Yeah, I know Twitch is good, but I can't stream there. Here we go. Here's a guy I'm looking for. Trent McGee, a 6'4 cornerback, because I love tall, lanky cornerbacks like Richard Sherman and Brandon Browner. I want to play a lot of press man, just like in, uh, I want to do with Raiders in that series. So just finishing up this uh, little recruiting here. This is going to go in the recruiting update video, which will probably be in two episodes. Raul Tolbert. Give him a quick call. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. Oh, here's a guy I'm looking at. Patrick Thompson, but I think his ratings are really bad. Yeah, I mean, 43 man and 48 zone or whatever it was. 
Whoops. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I meant to scout him. And look, we're going to do really well, too. And I'm just hitting A or X over and over again. I spent four years with Baylor and made it an offensive juggernaut. That'd be cool to see what some people some people do when they have the control of a team for a number of years. That's the whole reason I picked UTSA. Well, the speed's much better than we thought. But if you look at everything else... Let's see. 73 block shedding. 76 speed. Good pursuit. You think this guy could play linebacker? His ratings aren't good enough to play safety because he can't cover. He's not fast enough. Oh, he's 192 pounds. Never mind. He can't play safety. Evan Newton. 83 speed. Yeah, like I don't have any other people to scout, really. Are you into rebuilding? Definitely. Alright, I'm going to go find some random guys and I'm going to scout them. Interest in UTSA, top school. That is not committed. Um, no, that guy was bad. Ronaldo Lawrence. Okay, we'll give him a look. We'll give two guys a look. Him. It'd be nice to find a gem pass rusher, so Tony Williams. Wait, I've already scouted them a little bit. Must have been bad. So, Chris Henderson. Welcome to the opportunity of a lifetime. Are you playing against Marshall? Not in this stream, no. So, I forget now what positions I even targeted there. Wasn't a safety. Was it a corner? Yeah, Ronaldo Lawrence. No strength. Can't block shed. Decent speed. Decent zone coverage. Could be a possible person to redshirt. Outside linebacker. 61 zone and doesn't get hurt that much. Okay. I'm doing a connected careers coach on Madden 13. Which team with an overall rating, low overall rating should I coach? I think a fun team to be would probably be the Redskins because you have a... Oh, actually, no, the Rams because you have so many picks from an RG3 trade that you would be able to draft a lot of really good players and turn that team around fast. It would be fun. What made you do UTSA in, their dyna in, the, in this dynasty? Well, I wanted to be a... Uh, they're a really young program, and they had a lot of work to do. That's why I wanted to be them. And they play in the Alamo Dome, and they have a really cool logo. And it turns out they have some really nice players. So they're really nice football players, too. But anyways, guys, the uh, stream is going to come to an end now. I thank you all for coming. It was a really good time. And that game against Tulsa, what a game. Game of the year. You can catch it on my channel this week. I'll probably be calling it, uh, the name of the episode will probably be Game of the Year. And it was it was just phenomenal. Thank you guys for coming. Please leave a like on your way out. And also, if you would like, you can check out the coupon code. I have C-A-N-E, Kane, for $5 off a of Gamma Labs purchase. Gamma Labs is a sports nutrition company that uses all natural ingredients. And I have their G Fuel, which is kind of like an energy... Thing, gives you some energy and stuff and it doesn't make you crash or anything like that I'm not just saying that like it's true I drink it like every day and I love it I love the stuff 
So I have the fruit punch flavor if you want to know what flavor to get. I like it a lot. But anyways, guys, this stream was fun. If I stream later, check out check me out on Twitter at twitter.com slash Mr. Hurricane. Link is in the lower part of the description. But uh yes, it was a good time guys. Thank you all for coming. See you guys later. Once I uh hit the